Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I am sure all of you are really pumped about the keynotes that you heard today morning and uh, the privacy first messaging that we had uh, around all of our platforms and services. I'm here to talk about how we are working on driving business growth on our platforms uh, through technology and partner ecosystem. I am Vatsal. I have been at Facebook for nine years. In fact, in two weeks, I have uh, my work anniversary, which we call fondly at Facebook, Faceversary. Uh, nine years ago, the ads on Facebook were on the right-hand column. They were pretty ugly. Uh, and the pages were used to call fan pages. In fact, my first task at Facebook was to change the language in the code from fan page to like. Uh, there were 138 instances that I had to manually change because they didn't allow automatic uh, text changing. Uh, and so it has been a great journey for me. Uh, if you think about the sheer scale that which we are operating, uh, you would think that it's, uh, you get used to this, but at every, um, every minute, there are millions of connections happening between businesses and people. Uh, and uh, when I hear numbers like 2.7 billion people using our family of apps and services uh, on a monthly basis it, it, basis, it blows me away. Uh, think about that. That's one third of the world's population using one of Facebook's apps or services on in, in a monthly basis. And the rest of the two-thirds are probably babies. Uh, so needless to say, with this kind of unprecedented reach and every business being able to find their audience using Facebook, and frankly, every business that works with us has thrived using Facebook. Businesses are doing this not only by leveraging ads, but by also driving awareness through organic channels like pages or selling through direct to consumer channels like shopping and checkout on Instagram. At our basic core, Facebook wants to be the growth engine through which businesses grow and thrive. We give businesses of any size the potential to build closer connections and engage their audience with smarter insights, precise measurement, automation, and bigger returns through increased performance and efficiency. There are also millions of developers on our platform around the world. Many of you are in this room or are watching this through live stream. Thank you for your partnership over the years. I'm really excited to talk a lot about what the partners are doing today and the developer APIs that we are gonna talk about. Uh, this is the first presentation where I'm not doing live coding, uh, which is a relief. Uh, there are also uh, my teammates and colleagues who are gonna uh, provide more details over other sessions today and tomorrow. Uh, they are titled either marketing, uh, marketing developers or business growth. Uh, and so please feel free to check out uh, other sessions for more details as you are interested as well. Our North Star in, our, in the Facebook ads team is to build meaningful connections between people and businesses. As you heard Mark today talk about um, the digital living room and the equivalent of uh, digital town square, uh, we in the Facebook advertising team uh, want to help build great experiences which uh, provide meaningful connections between people and businesses. Today I'm gonna to talk about four different ways through which you can explore and, uh, and take advantage of some of these offerings. Uh, first is an organic uh, way to reach your uh, connections through uh, business presence. Uh, then I'll talk a little bit about ads and a few components that are part of our ad systems. Uh, I'll also talk about marketing partners who are uh, engaging with different kinds of our platforms and providing great services. And last, based on uh, working with hundreds of clients over the years, I'm gonna share some best practices and advice uh, that I have seen work really well. As Mark talked about in the, in the speech today, uh, we have really uh, great platforms uh, and we have billions of people using these uh, on, a, on a regular basis. Uh, Facebook and Instagram are the uh, digital equivalent of a town square where people connect with uh, friends, uh, they follow uh, other interesting personalities, they look at businesses and they explore different things. And then WhatsApp and Messenger are digital equivalent of your living room where you have private conversations but you also are exploring and discovering new things through stories and, and similar experiences. And then Audience Network is a great publisher platform through which we are exporting all the goodness of Facebook advertising to other platforms and services. To start with, uh, this is, uh, we announced a bunch of things on WhatsApp. We, we recently announced the uh, WhatsApp SMB application for iOS as well. 
Uh, and we also have the business API for large advertisers. Through the WhatsApp experience, businesses can have one-on-one -on -one connections with uh, their customers, uh, talk about order uh, notifications, uh, discovery, uh, clients, customer services, and so on. And so WhatsApp is a great way for businesses to engage with their customers on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, this is an example of how a conversation can happen where a business using either the API or the, the small business app uh, can provide better service around uh, shipping and, and order notifications. Uh, and we are also seeing that many customers are seeing higher LTV when they engage with their customers on WhatsApp. Similarly, Messenger provides a very rich platform to build immersive applications. How many of you look at your car manual after you buy a car? Um, I don't see any hands. I don't know if people are answering or not. Uh, but cars are pretty complex. Our car is a, is a very complex system now with so many features that we tend to discover much later. Kia, in this example, has built an immersive application in Messenger where you can explore different features and, and uh, uh, options in your car. Uh, and they walk you through that in a, in, a, in a friendly manner where you can go and explore different things and use them. And you as developers have the same functionality available to you uh, where you can do this for your own business or if you are a, a developer providing services to third parties, you can do that through, uh, through Messenger as well. We are incredibly excited about the Messenger platform and we are seeing a lot of great value created through the Messenger experiences. All right, uh, then what we are seeing today in businesses is that uh, mobile has become a, a very important part of the journey from discovery to consumption, and businesses, uh, businesses need to build a great mobile-first experience to engage with their audience. Uh, businesses must optimize for the new mobile landscape and deliver a frictionless shopping experience. Um, most of the businesses we work with, they are having heavy investments on the mobile space um, and it's a continuous journey to keep improving their applications on Android, on iOS, on uh, mobile web, and, and different sizes of phones, and, and so on. Uh, and so mobile has become a very important part of any customer's touch points uh, with, with their prospective audience. Since our earliest days, people on Instagram have loved to shop on the platform. People come to Instagram because they can connect with all of their friends and interests in one place, it's where they come to be inspired. And brands are crucial to the Instagram experience. We often talk about discovery on Instagram, and we do see that 83% of our survey respondents uh, use Instagram for discovery. Uh, in fact, people also use, that plat use Instagram as, as a platform to do much beyond. 81% research products and services on the platform and 80% use Instagram to decide whether or not to make a purchase. So Instagram is a really important part of a customer's shopping journey. Today, there are infinity of choices for denim. We as techies love to wear denim at work, uh, and we know that how hard it is to find the right pair, and uh, so H&M created a series of videos uh, called the Denim Style Guide, and use shopping, uh, which you see as the tags on the, on the video, to help make, uh, make it easy for Instagrammers to find the right pair of jeans. Last year, we expanded shopping to stories, a daily destination for 500 million Instagrammers. Think about stories as opening the door into businesses. Telling a story behind products, a very cool feature that you can, uh, you can use is update the colors of the product stickers in the stories to best fit your creative. With shopping and video feed, brands can tell a story that will live on their profile for as long as they like. Whether you choose to use video combined static imagery, a single image post, stories or video stories, or a combination of formats, shopping gives you a way for you to both tell your story and connect shoppers to your products. And as you heard today about checkout, checkout minimizes the obstacles between moment of discovery and a completed purchase by giving shoppers a simple, convenient, and secure way to make their purchases in app. 
In this example, you can see how somebody discovers a post in the feed that is checkout enabled. Uh, they can browse through different details of the item, select the right size, uh, enter some of the information that is required. Uh, this information is only uh, needed to be entered once. Uh, and then it's a very seamless process to get an order uh, placed with a merchant. Uh, we believe that checkout is gonna be a really solid way to provide frictionless shopping on Instagram. I mean, in addition to all these great features, we also have been investing in developer products. This is a demo uh, of OpenCart using a, a solution we have built called Facebook Business Extensions. Through Facebook Business Extensions, e-commerce platforms can integrate the complexity of Facebook advertising product in a way that is easily surfaced to their customers and they hide the complexity behind implementing the best practices of Facebook products. Uh, through Facebook Business Extensions, you can see it is much simpler to install a Facebook pixel on an e-commerce website. Uh, and through Facebook business extensions, you are also able to get additional functionality like messaging as well as Instagram shopping. So Facebook business extensions is available today and we keep investing in it and adding more features to it. Uh, so once a customer uses Facebook business extensions, their uh, through their platform, their customers can easily use many of these features. Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about ads. The way I think about ads is uh, a mixture of, uh, of three primary things. It's creative, it's the, uh, the optimization and targeting, and the last one is the measurement. Over the years, we have invested into many different phases of advertising, so we have really solid products across the entire consumer purchase funnel, all the way from awareness to maintenance and expansion. Uh, because we are able to have a very solid tech stack, we have simplified the framework of advertising and building solutions on top into three simple things. Uh, one is, is called creative solutions and the ability to get good creative in, into the feed. Uh, second is around uh, optimization, getting the right targeting, the bidding, and so on. And the last one is around measurement. And I'll walk you through some of the solutions that we have built on those. There is a lot more detail available on our website and through other sessions that we are going to talk about. What, the first one is the store visits and sales API. Over the last year, we have invested a lot in improving our advertising stack to drive people in store. Uh, through the store visits and sales APIs, developers are able to integrate the CRM systems directly into our systems uh, and provide us the data that can be used to optimize and improve their ad performance to drive people in store. We have also invested a lot in building out the catalog manager and the catalog API. The catalog API is a single catalog that powers dynamic ads, it powers uh, shopping, and it also powers checkout if, if a business is enabled for checkout. Uh, through this catalog API, you are also able to call, uh, call us to say if a product is out of stock, if a product is available again, uh, if there are price changes, and, and so on. And so catalog API is an important functionality that allows businesses with millions of SKUs to provide easily all the updates about their inventory and help our systems learn and drive better performance for them. And over the years, as we have seen the complexity of a customer's business evolve, we also invested a lot in Facebook analytics. Through Facebook analytics, we are able to provide you insights into a customer's journey through your particular website or a mobile app, uh, and also provide you guidance on how you can optimize uh, some of these things. One of our customers was able to see how many steps it took for somebody to come to their website and eventually convert on their, uh, on their website. And through the analytics journey, they reduce the number of steps it took for a conversion and saw a much better result. We have invested a lot in making Facebook analytics better for our customers. And last is insights. Uh, with every customer I talk to, they struggle with attribution, they struggle with real-time lift analysis. And so over the years, we have also made a lot of investment in our insights API framework. Uh, and we have many other products around that that can provide insights in real time around the lift results of their campaign. 
Now, if you work on the measurement side or if you work with any customers on the measurement side, you know that lift analysis is incredibly complicated. Uh, we have been able to build a solid solution around lift analysis that provides you uh, results in almost real time. Now, anytime you talk to any business uh, nowadays, they all talk about AI and machine learning and how they want to leverage AI. Um, in fa at Facebook, we we'll use AI and ML a lot on our internal products. Uh, this is the first step in exporting AI to help our consumers leverage many of these learnings. Through the uh, Creative Compass APIs, we are allowing developers and marketing partners to leverage our AI uh, in predicting a performance of a creative and also provide guidance on what they can improve in the creative to, imp to maximize their outcomes. So here in this example, we are using things like focal point and noticeability uh, in an ad, and, and we are able to tell somebody if the ad has a good focal point uh, and whether it will have uh, informational reward or, or a emotional reward to the person who sees the ad. Through Creative Compass, we hope to help our, our customers and marketing partners to improve upon the creative that they use on the platform to drive maximum impact for their customers. Now, you may, uh, you may be a large advertiser, you may be a marketing partner, uh, you may be uh, somebody who is looking to explore different in, on the different aspects of advertising. Uh, we also have a very rich and diverse partner ecosystem that can help you through the journey of exploring some of the Facebook uh, products and services. Uh, we have marketing partners that, that provide solutions for many of the problems that are listed in, in the slide. I have been able to work with many of our marketing partners and I'm really proud of what they've achieved. And there are a few case studies that I like to show. Uh, and our developer platform allows for many other things that can be built. This is a case study of a company called Hootsuite that used an API uh, to provide a notification to their customers when a page post is working really well. Uh, when a page post is working really well, we provide a notification uh, that if, uh, if, uh, if the business boosted that post, they would see much better result. Uh, they are seeing really solid results out of it, um, and we are expanding uh, the use of this functionality. We also know that video, uh, video creative is a very big problem for many of the advertisers. And so Vidmob uh, has built a solution through which many of our advertisers can improve their uh, video creative and across many different phases of the funnel. This makes it possible for brands and agencies to implement and, and uh, create and learn agenda for their video creative and performance. We also know that mobile first creative is a very big uh, problem and opportunity for our advertisers. Uh, most advertisers out there do not have creative assets readily available for vertical and mobile first video. This is an example of a company called Shuttle Rock and how they used existing creative assets to build great creative for stories. This has been a really strong perform performing product for them, uh, and advertisers who have used this have seen greater, uh, greater value as well. We also have partners who are experts in areas like commerce and shopping. This is an example of a, of a experience that Shopify built within their platform that allows their e-commerce merchants to easily integrate dynamic ads into their, uh, their journey. Uh, and th this is also a really good example of how developers can build good experiences that simplify some of the challenges that uh, businesses face uh, through the Facebook e-commerce platform. Now, we also made it easy for you to find the partners if you're if you're looking for one. Uh, and if you're looking to be a partner, there is also a contact form on this website. Uh, there's a, a short, easy to use URL if, uh, and it will be also at the end of the slide. It's fb.me slash fbpartners. Um, I'm incredibly proud to, uh, to have uh, this rich and diverse partner ecosystem to help solve some of your challenges. 
Now to properly take advantage of all these services and maximize uh, the, the return on investment that you get from Facebook uh, technology ecosystem, um, I have compiled a few thoughts that I have uh, worked with hundreds of advertisers over the years. With Facebook and the entire digital advertising ecosystem evolving at a very rapid pace, it's important to uh, provide uh, and create a culture of agility in your teams. The first, uh, first advice that I give to customers is that uh, around how do you simplify your org structure and your culture so you can take advantage of many of the things that Facebook and other companies in this space offer. At Facebook, we tend to have a new product launch every week. Uh, and if you are a customer of Facebook, I know how hard it is to keep up with all the changes. Uh, and so uh, agility in your culture, ability to test out new things is extremely important. The other piece of advice I have seen work really well with customers is to have their own innovation team. The size of the innovation team can be different. This advice has worked with many of the large clients, uh, but I'm sure that there is a, a much bigger team eventually at, at some point. Uh, to start with, I advise them with at least having two full-time dedicated engineers uh, on their teams. One data scientist to look at the return and the incrementality of all the work they do and one product manager to help coordinate all the work that they are doing. It's really important to have your own dedicated engineers because uh, at any given time, there are new features that, and new sets to be implemented. You don't want to go to the IT department and um, work with them on their priorities and, and wait for their engineers to free up and so on. And so it's really important to have your own in-house engineers. And the last one, as I mentioned already, is to uh, be agile and react quickly. And as I wrap up here, I want to leave you with a bigger idea than just realizing that Facebook is good for business. I want you to reflect on the greater good our work can do. Great advertising does so much more than simply push products. To quote Sheryl Sandberg from one of the recent events that sh uh, uh, where she, 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 she shared this quote, um, this industry is so important to us because it not only reflects our culture, it shapes it. We have an opportunity and responsibility to wield the power to strengthen communities, large and local. One way we can all do that is to continue our work supporting the businesses that uh, serve as the glue holding our, our society together. Many of our small business partners report that they wouldn't exist, let alone thrive, if not for our platform. By helping thousands of businesses reach their desired audience and grow their bottom line, we have come to realize that Facebook is actually one of the largest job creation engines in the world. And by extensions, developers, you have the opportunity to be part of that engine. As we innovate together, you can take part in ushering the eras of cultural evolution, and, and progress for an entire society. So lastly, I leave you with the resources where you can find more information for uh, uh, around business solutions that we have at Facebook. Um, it's fb.me slash fbpartners if, uh, if you want to look, out, look uh, for our partner directory. And please feel free to provide uh, feedback for our session. I spoke a little bit fast, so we are ending a bit early. Thank you. Thank you.